we've got another Clear as Mud session. It's, it's a new idea, the Clear as Mud, where we try to make a few issues of Clear as Mud. Uh, last time we were looking at Humber Street and, and the role of the galleries there, had a really good, interesting debate, as you'd say. Tonight, we're looking at broadband, looking at Kingston Communications, looking at are we safe in hope or are we going to drop behind the rest of the country? What does the future look like? We've got companies in the region who are installing the fastest fibre networks in the UK, but they're not doing it in Hull yet, and we're hoping to find out why that hasn't happened here in Hull. Will it be happening here soon? We've also got people who are doing Wi Fibre, um, which is kind of like Wi Fi, fast Wi Fi across the city. Um, available by line of sight. Uh, so we've got Martin Lauer of One Point here to discuss that. And over proceedings, Councillor John Robinson, who's a bit of a communications guru himself, leads the marketing for the whole city council, knows that this is important, and we want to find out what the answers are. I just sort of know that this is desperately important for the city about connectivity, how we're going to get it, and hopefully there's going to be a really good debate tonight. There's, there's uh, people from the media community, there's a politician, me, the least important person here. Um, there's people here from uh, KC, Kings of Communications. Fantastic that they're here. So I'm looking forward to a really good debate. We're going to talk about uh, broadband infrastructure and how we can make a difference in Hull and uh, in the economy and attracting good investment. We're working with Whiteland Group as part of KC to try and help uh, redevelop the fruit markets area generally. And we're, we're looking at um, all parts of Hull to try and redevelop. So this part is a thriving. Um, part of the town, or should be, and certainly in the arts world, and I'd expect with the marina, with the close, close proximity to the city centre to be a really thriving hub for Hull if we can get it right going forward. Uh, really excited to be here tonight to be discussing uh, broadband and the issue of connectivity. The fifth utility, uh, in my view, should be the first utility, uh, and how we can uh, all work together and take it to the next level. Uh, I think it's going to be a really good debate and uh, a really good discussion, but I think we're going to end up talking more about partnerships than we are um, you know, debating whether we should uh, not work with Karoo. I think we'll be working with Karoo by the end of today. Um, I have built multiple call centres around the UK and there's been a lot of times where we've actually been asked to look at home and we've actually refused to do so because of the telecommunications market in the city. So that's pretty much what I'm here to talk about. That's my experience in, in my own. We've just built and delivered the fastest broadband in the UK in rural Lincolnshire. Um, they're actually enjoying 100 bucks symmetrical fibre fed broadband in the middle of nowhere. It's a little village called Ashby on the Road. Uh, and we're very, very much forthright in the next generation access market and delivering the fibre bandwidth services. How are we doing? My name's Mike Watts, and uh, I've been invited here tonight to talk about the, the whole voice and also to wear. Uh, do a little performance of, of my poetry and to talk about my book coming to a street near you by my quads. What I'm going to talk about is the poetry that exists or that has happened since the beginning of the 80s and I'm going to try to engage with people to see how much they know and to say what my opinion is and try to answer, try to show people what I think the whole voice is by, just by using poetry because I'm, a, I'm an editor and a publisher and this book which is coming out this week, The Whole Connection, is a book with 142 poems by 26 poets who have all lived in Hull for, most of them have lived in Hull for at least five years. Some have lived in Hull all their life. Statistics claim my city sucks and in crap towns and other books they say poverty and slow have tied the knot and we're all wild on drink and pot and teenage girls with STDs push their buggies in twos and threes past feral gangs tooled up and hooded prowling streaks not long since flooded where everything's robbed and set alight and teenage gangs every night and arrive just in town to GBH and other crown well I know how you expert geeks it's not just our shit freaks we're no better we're no worse and any place can pinch your purse 
And I bet even your leafy village has seen unemployment, rape and pillage. So next time you take the piss, please, give all a miss. Think twice before you have a go. Or we'll beg you and break your jaw. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Underwood's always a good place to come and listen to what's going on. You always find something going on that you don't know about and get impressed by the amount of talent in the area. Uh, I heard about it right from its very beginnings, in fact, involving some of the early discussions. So tonight, for example, is about broadband. That's an area I've been working on and very interested in. Uh, it's a good it's a good insight to what's going on probably very early on you get early warning uh, warnings you get early knowledge of things that are developing and that's quite interesting and it's very diverse a lot sometimes you know you think well this isn't my cup of tea but then a few months later something happens and you can be glad you've been common blood is a gathering of minds um, and eccentrics and creatives doers and thinkers and uh, it's a place where you can kick around ideas and meet people and make things happen.